here's a quick video of this at work. Basically what's happening is these are going into the mic input jack, which I deciphered from looking at, let's see if I get this in focus, this Intuit uh, go card jack. I said like mic on one of those, you can see it right on the left. So I figured out which one the mic SR, the black, I assume was ground. Connected up the pins appropriately to the positive and negative. Let me zoom in. And then what happens is uh, I have the voltage from this go to 0 to 5. This is a voltage controlled oscillator, so what should happen is that when it's 0, it should be no voltage, when, uh, no frequency. Uh, when it gets higher, higher pitch, like da. So let's start recording. So I have this connected to an old, unused Android phone. So let's press start recording, and I'll start increasing the voltage. It should should note that all this time it has been giving frequency. Now I'm going to increase the voltage. The maximum I want to make it is 5. I don't want to experiment what happens when I go beyond that. So basically it should go like, ah, then go down, something like that. Um, all right, and then I'll press finish. I'll press OK for the record. I'll take this out so it plays through the speakers. And let's see. It's going to be kind of harsh. Warning. It works. So yeah, if, what you basically heard was very squeaky um, sine wave, uh, not sine waves, square wave. And it's good because uh, I, I noticed that at one point it actually cut off. There's probably, I, I never went above 5.2, but at one point if I rewatch the video, I'll be able to sync it and I'll say, oh, it can't go above 4.7 probably, or something like that. And uh, basically, this works. And so now all we need to do is get an audio um, uh, interpreter for that to make, make sure that we can correspond the frequency with the voltage level. Um, just w I have the equation given by the manufacturers, uh, previously National, Sem National Instruments, now uh, National Semiconductor, now Texas Instruments, and they are talking about this chip, which is the LM331, and yeah, yeah, don't want to make it too long. Uh-oh, I stopped it.